Of course it paused, so I have to make another video. Of course. Sorry about that loud screeching noise. I'm not 100% what this is. Oh man! Look what it is. My birthday present has arrived. You know you're a chicken farmer when you ask for heated poultry drinkers for your birthday. Woo -woo. So I got four mineral buckets because my husband loves me. I actually need one for each of the girls' kidding stalls. So I have three girls kidding. And I need, yeah, one for each of the girls. And then I got an extra one to put on the milking sanction. So there's four, and then there's one out there already for Clark. So, and these were cheap. They were $5.99 through State Line Tac. That was the cheapest that I found them. And then these guys were $16, which if you guys do your research, I'll show you what it is. It has the actual lid for it. Okay. So they might be able to perch on that. I don't know. It's kind of at an angle. But they're not going to get it off. It's going to stay nice and clean on the inside, which is what I absolutely love. But it has these little nipples on it. Let me see if I can get it out of the bag one-handed here. Sorry about my messy entryway. This is where we walk in and take our farm nastiness off so it doesn't track into the house. Yeah. So this is the heated two-gallon poultry drinker with drip-free side mount nipples. And it's heated. That's what we need for Michigan weather. We need something heated. And my girls are not used to um, getting water out of these nipples. And I've done my research. And one, way to, one really easy way to teach them is I'm going to go inside and get our laser pointer that my daughter has. And I'm going to put the laser pointer on that, and the girls will attack that red because they love the color red. And they'll learn, oh, water comes out of there. So I am preventing any more nastiness from the water because every time my kids go out to do the water in the chicken coops, they always dump the water out that's in there in the coops and fill it up with fresh water. Um, and that's causing mischief for my birds because it's supposed to be nice and dry and not humid and wet. It's bad for birds. So, we're going to try these out and see how they work. Um, I have two of them. And they are they use 60 watts of pow power. So, 120 all together. I don't know how I feel about having the actual cords in the chicken coop. That's the only thing I do not like in the barn. But, as you can tell, we already have electricity out there. I think it'll be alright. It says it, it uh, accommodates up to 15 chickens, which we have 40, 47 all together. But I'm out there twice a day, so I'm going to see. I mean, if I have to go out there, I think this is a two and a half gallon, three and a half quart. Nope, two gallon poultry drinker. The mineral feeders are three and a half quart. So these are a two gallon, and I'm usually taking um, two, four, six gallons out. So I'm okay with that. And I also have coming, the other thing that I asked for for my birthday was those shrink up hoses. So what I'm going to do is attach those hoses twice a day to my outside spigot and then run those out to the barn. And then I'll just bring them inside with me so they don't get nasty. And then I won't have to lug out 8 gallons of water. Actually it's 12 gallons because it's four gallons in my little plastic tote that you guys probably seen. So I'm going to take these out to the barn. Yay!